Alright guys, Roach here, and I have the new version of the Zeus Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod. That is Zeus V10 RC7 Ultra, and I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Of course, nice and easy and simple. Link is in the description to all the download information you need. And what you're going to need to have or download is the Magic Launcher. You're going to want to have Optifine. GSS, GLSL shaders and of course the Zeus shaders. One quick thing so you guys know I want to educate you guys that whatever shaders mod let's say you need to get you go and they updated for 1.5 or whatever and you want to get the the right uh, files you know right shaders mod and the right Optifine. The guy who makes the shaders mod he always ends his um, titles of the mods with for example here of you D5 that's Optifine Ultra D5 that's telling you which Optifine you need to download because there's many different Optifines so here we have Optifine 6HD U D5 so that's how you know you know if you have GSS you know if you have Optifine B5 it's not going to work with uh, this uh, shaders mod here so just look at the corresponding titles and you'll get it right every time. So after you grab all your files, I want you to double click Magic Launcher, hit run, and of course this is on a clean install of Minecraft guys. Okay, we do setup, then we're going to add, and I just threw everything onto the desktop so you guys can easily see. So first, always first is Optifine. It's always on top and always first thing you add to the Magic Launcher. Then you grab your shaders, the shaders mod, I'm, I'm sorry, the shaders mod. Now we can hit test. And I'm using, I'm on vacation right now, I'm using a not so good computer and that's the great thing about this update is that um, he optimized it. So we're gonna check it out, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. So you're gonna click on options and then you're gonna have the shaders option here. That's assuming that everything went fine here. We've only done two or three steps. It's quite simple. So we're going to click shaders. There's nothing here. Open shaders pack folder. Okay. So we're going to do that. And, you know, mine automatically shied out, but shy out all the. Just get to that shaders uh, file here. Zeus V10 RC7 Ultra, and only zip files can go in here. So throw it down in there. And then we'll boot up Minecraft again there. Uh, and there it shows up there. And so you want to click it and hit done. Done. Single player. And I had a new world. But let's delete it. Create new world. And we'll just create new world so you guys we do step by step. I don't know how it's going to handle all this computer, but... Uh, I quickly saw it before, it looked great. And there we go. And we have the shaders in it. He did make some changes to the sun. It used to have a um, lens flare in it, which I thought was really cool, but he said it was eating up too much. Too much um, memory and stuff, stuff like that. And here's the water, which is looking really good. So, anyways, uh, that's it, guys. I try to always answer your questions. I can't always do it. And the computer I'm running right now, I don't, um, it's my little brother's and he got it for, he didn't pay that much for it and it's not, um, really not that great. The graphics card is not that great in this thing. I could I can attest to that. So you can see the optimization is really good. Anyways, uh, leave a like, favorite, if you guys, if this helped. Anyways, see you guys later.